You ever sit back and think, what are the streets of Flavortown paved with? You know, we know they got great food. We know they got great Chinese food, Mexican food, Italian food. Well, anyhow, I'm here in Redmond, Oregon, right outside of Bend, where they're serving pizza at the pulpit. Listen, can you hear it? That might be the bells of Flavortown Church. This is Grayson Hammer Pizzeria. Probably about a minute left on that, Willie. Church is in session. Where do we start? <laughs> Got that dough starting to rise up in there. It's a beautiful building, but the food's even better. Get a hot pie. What does everybody think about having a pizza joint in the church? Everyone's like, in a church? You gotta go check it out. It certainly was a heavenly sight for Chad and Cinnamon Nemec when they spotted this place for sale while visiting from Austin. We went home from our vacation. Two weeks later, came and put a contract in. And... Was it intended to be a house, or was it intended to be a pizza I joint? wanted a house. He wanted a pizzeria. It really, really is beautiful. The building was built in 1912. It's on the National Historic Registry. Who's the pastor of pizza? Adam. Where'd you learn to cook? Just had a passion for craft things. Prodigal pig wrapping up right now. The prodigal pig's kind of a twist on a classic Hawaiian pizza. All right, so what are we going to jump into now? We have a pork butt. We're going to be smoking this and turning it into pulled pork for our prodigal pig pizza. Score the pork butt. You're tickling it. Scoring is like really cutting into it. <laughs> a gochujang sauce. Salt and pepper. Absolutely. We're going to bind this up. This is a boneless pork butt, so I don't want it opening up on gotcha, the smoker. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We're going to be smoking at 225, roughly 10 hours. Free it from its twine, break it down, sauce it with some goju chang, ready to go on some pizza. I assume we're making some dough. Absolutely. Some bloomed yeast and water. What kind of flour? A hard red wheat. What gluten level? 13.5, and then a little bit of salt. Let it mix. Two minutes. How long is this going to get a chance to proof? About 24 hours. Whole. Punch it down, and then let it rise up again for another 24 hours. Got it. Portion, ball, let it rest. What's next? Our Colby sauce. Black pepper, brown sugar, garlic, green onion there, ginger, grated yellow onion, sesame oil, mirin, soy sauce. That's going to get tight enough to be the sauce on the base? Yeah. Next up, pineapple slaw. Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> I know it's a great debate. Actually, I don't care. OK, OK. Honestly. It's your pizza. Put on what you want on it. We got some ginger here, shallot, chopped cilantro, pineapple, serranos, and a little bit of heat. Mix that up. Are we going to make this pie finally? Yeah, let's do it. Going to go ahead and grab a dough ball here. Stretch this out. Look at the elasticity on that. That's awesome. Let's build this pizza. Colby sauce, fresh mozz. Goju chain pork here, little fontina. This is burning 700, 800 degrees. Yes, sir. And you should be able to cook this off. About two minutes or so. And what are we burning? All white oak. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Boom. Beautiful. <laughs> you can just hear the crust. Pineapple slaw, pickled onion on top. And there we have a completed prodigal pig that's, right there. That's all she wrote. <laughs> it's dynamite. That crust is so light and airy and fluffy. The balance that you create with that pineapple slaw, because you're getting a lot of heat from the serranos and the jalapenos, with the acidity from the onions countering the brown sugar that you have in the coffee sauce. That's what gives it the balance and the harmony. I know I'm preaching to the choir on, but I got to confess, it's excellent pizza. Goju chain pulled pork going on. It's a spin on a Hawaiian, but way, way better because you have that smoky deliciousness of the pork and the kalbi sauce that's on that gives that a little bit of sweet and tangy at the same time. The pizza crust is incredible. It's got a little bit of spice, a little bit of juiciness and tanginess from the pineapple. Is this the kind of pizza you're expecting? I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Right? Everyone's like tries to come in and order like, a pepperoni pizza. You got to get their flavors because they've mastered them. Go with their experience. Yeah. These guys just take license to put whatever they want on us. So. You got a benevolent bird. They always have like a fun spin on their names of pizzas and also a fun spin on what they put on the pizzas. This is my cousin Paul on Triple D for his third time. I love it. It's got everything on it. Pine State Biscuits, Tails and Trotter. Now so serendipitously, his dad, my Uncle Bill, was a pastor. It would be just fitting that you and I are having pizza in a church. This is like the real deal. Hey, guys. Hi. You're not just a pizza show. What else do you have performing in the congregation? Smoked and fried chicken wings. I love the wings. It's nice and fresh and smoky. You get the crispiness of the fried. I am a smoked fried chicken wing. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back, Triple D hanging out in a church. Flavortown Church. 
Actually, we're in Redmond, right outside of Bend, Oregon, and we're hanging out with Chef Adam. You're making crazy pizza, really legit, by the way. He says he's not a one-trick pony. He's got a lot of other great stuff going on in one of his wings. Absolutely. Toss barbecue wings for table 23. I walk in, and they know I'm going to order my wings every single time. Take me to the Flavortown Church, my friend. We're going to go ahead and build our brine, water. Equal parts salt, sugar, let it dissolve. Little ice bath to cool it down, and then over the top of the wings. How long will you let the brine go for? Overnight, about 24 hours. My night's usually only like nine. <laughs> so once uh, the wings are fully brined, let them dry off, salt and pepper them. Just salt and pepper. And then they're off to the smoker. We're going to make some rubs. We're going to start with a little celery salt here, Cajun seasoning, granulated onion, garlic in there as well. Yes, some cayenne. And that's a component of the barbecue sauce. Walk me through the barbecue sauce. Start with some brisket fat drippings. They taught you this in kindergarten when you're in <laughs> Texas, right? I think you have to know that. You have to know how to row cow, saddle horse, and make barbecue sauce all by the time you're four. And then we have some Worcester sauce. Some what? what or Worcestershire. OK. Apple cider vinegar. Coffee from our neighbors right down the road. Brown sugar, plum tomatoes. Teamwork makes the dream work. House brisket rub here. Black pepper, cayenne, kosher salt. Reduce this down for about two hours, emulsify it, and hold it for service. Got some smoked wings here that just came out of the fryer, ready to be sauced. Boom. Optional ranch if you like it. Comes with an optional ranch. Dude, that's a great wing. There's so much flavor going on. There's the sugar and salt smoked, then that fry to it, and then just kissed with a little bit of that barbecue sauce, which is not overpowering. Well done, brother. <laughs> I'm almost getting to the point of being full at five. I can't lie, I'm in church. No, I'm not full, I want a dozen. The wings are great. Nice tenderness inside, but then you get a little light crisping, and it's just perfect. You gotta be a kid that likes wings. Love them. Kind of like heaven on your tongue. Is that a church thing? You got a St. Stanley ready to run. I think I have your food groups right here, Paul. Pizza and wings are two of my favorite foods. Oh, yeah, beer is the yeah. third one. You know everything you're going to get. It's going to be amazing. It is a blessing to the community. This is the one you want to come to. It's quite the adventure, my friend. It's delicious. It's unconventional. But you really are delivering with this. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Amen.